everyone, my name is Katie, I'm a PGA Pro. Hello, my name's John and I'm an ex-PGA Pro. And today we're standing on the ninth tee at Money and Golf Club and we've got Trapman out and we're going to be looking at the angle of attack. So the angle of attack can actually encourage distance. That's right, uh, and it also may cut the ball a bit and uh, plus you'll have no run on the ball. That's going to be coming in slightly steep, so we're just going to try a golf ball now. I'm going to try and get the angle slightly steeper, then we'll have a look at track man and see how it reads. And then we're going to just try a few bits out, try and get on the angle and the up, and see what happens then. Okay, good luck Katie. <laughs> okay. Okay, so try to come in steep on that one. Katie always hits it straight, whatever she does. <laughs> so the angle of attack on that ball was minus three, so that was coming down slightly steep. That's right, which, which, which gave it a much lower flight. Much lower flight. I can see here 180 yards carry. That's not normally what I want. No, no. <laughs> but the club head speed was still 84. Well, that's, that's good. So, yeah. so it'll be interesting how the, how, how the angle of attack changes with the same club head speed. In theory, the ball should go further. So with the second driver now, we're just going to try and encourage the angle of attack to be slightly on the up. So for this, we're just going to change a little bit in the setup. So on the first drive, I had my setup quite square. Now on this one, we're just going to change the angle of the shoulders to be in there a little bit more back and away from the target, but then sloping up, which will really help shallow out the bottom of our angle before the ball. I should hit the ball higher than the last shot and maybe give it a bit of draw, which then gives it run. Okay, so with the same club head speed, we're going to see if this affects distance. Okay. Good shot, Katie. Okay, so looking at that ball I just hit, club head speed, 84 miles an hour again, 83.9. Um, but the carry has gone up to 206.5. That's a big difference, that's 10%. And I know I overdid the angle because it's plus 6.2 on the up, but that just shows the, the, the fractions in, in the angle of attack and how it can actually send your ball a lot further. Mm. Well. Okay, so when you next out on the golf course, give this setup a go and see if you can find that extra carry and extra run on your drives. Thank you for watching. Bye.